All right, we're back again. And this time, Katie and I are going to talk to you about one of the tools that is so helpful in Koala Go, and that is their chat feature. Uh, one thing to remember with this chat feature is that although you can see this as the teacher, your student can't see it until you clicked on it and it starts showing on your screen. Another fantastic feature about this is the translation tool on here. As you may have noticed right here, it says turn on translations. Go ahead and click on that. So if I were to write to Katie and I would say, Como esta? Oh, wow. She's writing in Chinese. I wrote, Como estas? And she wrote, she wrote in Chinese. And she's got, oh, I love that. And it translates into English. Mine is in Spanish and it translates to English. So if your student is in China, they're just going to translate to Chinese. That is so fantastic. Katie, can you think of any other reasons that we might want to use the chat tool? So I think the chat tool is particularly useful for like tech issues and maybe the student is struggling to explain to you because if English isn't their first language, they don't know how to say like, oh, I can't see the whiteboard or something not loading for me. Um, so instead they can type it in their native language into the chat and it'll automatically translate it into English so you can understand it. And of course you'll reply back to them, they'll be able to understand as well. So it's probably the most useful uh, use for the chat tool. Um, I sometimes also use it for sending useful notes to students that I want to keep separate from the main content that's on the whiteboard. So for example, you're playing a game or activity and you don't want to mess it up with some notes of some keywords they were struggling with or a little comment you want to come back to later. You can pop that in the chat as well. Uh, but mostly I would use it for tech, tech kind of issues and little messages like that that you need that translation feature for. Yeah.